Hey, so I did something this week that I've never done before. I made this melting away back pain webinar. Where I really peeled back the system showing you not only you know methods and techniques for giving a back massage but why they work and how I do it and everything that goes behind you know 20 years of giving time massage and having incredible results with my clients and not only for me but for thousands of my students as well so I want to give you an opportunity to watch the webinar so here on YouTube what I decided to do was give you an extended kind of preview of it so I'd love for you to check that out right now and if you like it then there's a link below and you just click on that link join my mailing list and I will send you the entire webinar where you learn my secrets for giving an incredible massage that addresses back pain and again it's not even only about massage it's about addressing back pain and so I give you a full strategy for how to do that for exactly how I work with my clients I'll share with you the massage that I use and a lot more so please check this out and also subscribe to my channel so that I can give you more great content like this and if you have any questions or comments post them below awesome here is the strategy you know something that I'm also a big fan of is making things simple and for me simple is not easy necessarily simple is is powerful it's potent it's easy to retain and create a system out of and then from there we can we can explore that and grow that in so many different directions and the the strategy is really as simple as this that when i give the massage um, my focus is to both relax the area of need as deeply as possible and then when they're in that relaxed state i want to then really retrain the body and from there once you know as they their body is literally learning new pathways new alignment new way of being the sooner that they can then do things in between those sessions in the world of healthy habits you know the better so that is the real simple strategy now we're going to expand that a little bit and talk about how i turn that strategy into a system in the massage so the way it works is really like this when i when i start my massage when i start my back massage i want to massage that area in need and i want to be really gradual with it in a way that is very supportive for the whole, for not only for their body, but for your body as the giver as well. So that's number one. Number two is getting the, their body and their back in a much more relaxed state. Then I can incorporate movement and stretches into the body and into the, you know, the back. And we're gonna talk about it in a little more detail moves in seven directions there are seven directions of the spine and i want to when it's appropriate address create movement in all of those seven directions and it does it's not always appropriate to move in all the seven directions and you know and that's where customization comes about but here today i'll talk about all those seven directions of the spine and stretching and creating length and space in the body in all of those different ways and in the back in all of those directions and then you know it's like they're in a heightened new state in their body so then i love to then massage their back and of course in this case the area in need is their back so i like to massage their back some more to have even more you know more benefits and, a, and even a greater effect come into the body and then we come into a nice gentle ending as well and then from there i like to give the homework any questions how's that sounding for people uh, so far give me a thumbs up or post something if you have any specific questions great kim i see greta you're nodding as well it all seem pretty we're all understanding it so far 
I would love to hear the benefits of sweeping the effleurage at some point. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Kim. Great question. Any other questions? All right. Roxana, I'm going to ask you to mute yourself if you don't mind. I, I do have one question. Um, what about folks who have like herniated discs or collapsed discs, for instance? Mm -hmm. Is uh, Are there movements that are counterindicated? Uh, should we leave out some of the twists? Of, let, let's say they had a collapsed uh, L5-S1. Are there certain uh, movements of the spine that we should avoid? Great question. Okay, I'm going to come back to these questions. I'm, I'm writing them down so that I don't forget them. And uh, I'll talk about it a little bit more after I've kind of presented everything, okay? Although the very quick answer is uh, yes and no. But I'll explain what I mean by that soon. Okay, so. Massaging the area gradually and in a way that is supportive for your body. So let's talk about that. So I have a, a this one sentence, which is right there, which means, which is how slow can you go? How high can you fly? That's my method. That is like the, the core and the center of everything that I do in time massage. And really not even just in time massage. Honestly, for me, as much as possible in my life, but definitely you know, in how I grow a business. And, you know, this one sentence has, has been such an impactful philosophy and method that the massage has really taught me, not only for giving a massage, but really being as healthy as I can be. And how slow can you go? How high can you fly? What it means is to take your time, essentially. And that the more you can take your time, the more you can cultivate and really train yourself to listen be patient and work with the intelligence of their body, then the better it's going to be. So it doesn't mean that your massage doesn't eventually get to deeper places and deep pressure and, and deep tissues like you know that a lot of clients often expect in a massage, for example, but we're enjoying the journey. We're enjoying the process. We're embracing the idea that all along the way, there's something new to learn. And there's something new, there's a, there's a great way that you can impact and affect the body. And so the more we embrace that, the more we're going to learn from literally our experience of, of massaging them. And also, the more we're going to do things in a way that's really safe and supportive and responsive for them. And we're doing things in a way that really honors the fact that of just how intelligent their body is. And, you know, to, I want to speak to that for just a second because I was literally, I was giving a massage to someone literally on Monday. She's had hundreds or maybe even thousands of massages in her life. And she said to me that she's never had a massage before that where the person who was giving took their time like I did. And that usually when she receives a massage, you know, people are just digging in and going to those deep places and, and doing it in such a quick way that her body doesn't have a chance to relax or respond. It, it has to tighten up. It has to grip. It has to prepare for that pain in a way that, you know, there, there's something that doesn't quite allow her to really relax into what's going on. But that the way that I was massaging her, She's like, oh, it was such a completely different experience where you could go deep and you could get into like all these like painful areas in my body, but I didn't have to tense up. I could just breathe into it. I can just relax into it and I can feel the benefits even if it, you know, quote unquote hurt, you know? And so that's what I like to encourage. And that's what, how slow can you go? How high can you climb means that the more, patient and gradual you can be with them and the more you're working with you know the, what i where i started to talk about it is like the intelligence of the body and i i believe this wholeheartedly that every person has an entire pharmacy 
that allows it to allows us to heal ourselves. I mean, we literally do it every night when we go to bed and we allow the parasympathetic uh, nervous system and that whole part of who we are, you know, basically takes over and literally heals and repairs ourselves from all of our activities of the day. So we can recreate that in a massage and it's in pauses and it's in taking our time and it's in creating space that we give their body the opportunity to really do what it knows how to do in such an immaculate, really miraculous way. Um, that, that's how we're designed. So when we work with that intelligence instead of against that intelligence, then, then the results, the quality of the results are elevated, you know, really, I think, exponentially. And the experience for both them and for you are also exponentially elevated. Like I was saying the story of this person that I was massaging and how she was able to relax so much more deeply into it. But then also for me, I feel like the whole experience of giving is such a pleasure. And so one way that we do that is how we take care of our body, the positions that you put yourself in and the parts of your body that you use. So using your forearm, your elbow, your knees as much as possible, using your hands as little as possible, well, then you're creating the opportunity for you to actually feel like you can take your time and changing it up a little bit, changing your angles, changing your position, using one arm versus the other arm and, and doing that again. So then no part of you tires out. Instead, you just get stronger and you feel better and it just becomes a pleasure to give. So you know, when I train students, uh, it's it's like that. You know, I I started to say it at the very beginning, but I have this other saying that I'm very vigilant about, which is that I'm never a fan of the grin and bear it approach to giving massage. So, you know, if for any moment in the massage that you feel like I am doing something that compromises my body for the purpose of creating a result that I'm trying to get to, then I want you to always give yourself permission to stop what you're doing, essentially, and come back to yourself, feel where you can get a little bit more comfortable, make whatever adjustment you can make. You benefit from it, they benefit from it, and you know that's how we create the best results for everybody. So that listening, that how slow can you go, that gradual approach, you know, again, it's for both. It's for me to feel really great in my body, it's for them to produce the best results. So we take our time, we become amazing listeners. We're just, you know, that's another great benefit to slowing down is that we are essentially creating and getting into a dialogue with their body. Their body is always telling us exactly what it needs, where it needs it, how it needs it, etc. And it's not only, you know, the, there are obvious things that a body can tell us. And usually when we think about it, more often than not, we think about when we're going off in, the, in a bad direction because we do something that's too deep, that hurts them. We know they're going to clench up, they're going to tighten, they're going to say, ow, they're, you know, all of that kind of stuff. But there's a whole other side to listening, which is more like, it's about relaxing. It's about, you know, literally the body can tell you, like, can you just move to the left a quarter of an inch? Can you move to the right another half an inch? And so you do that. The only way you know that is through taking your time and practicing and really learning the language of the body. And it's actually one of the great pleasures of the massage. And it's one of the reasons I fell in love with it right from the very beginning and have then fostered and created a whole system, like I said, where how slow can you go, how high can you fly is the whole heart of everything that I do so that we need to be always thinking that we can always become a more trained and better listener. There's always something, little nuances and something new to embrace and discover. And that is how we make our experience and our results that much better. So we listen really deeply and we repeat. And, and one thing we're really listening for, and in my experience with back pain, 
is space. You know, that essentially back pain, to simplify it, is very much a product of a tightening up that's going on. When people are really rounded in their back. When people tell you they have SI issues, when they are telling you their lower back hurts, what I find in all of these cases is that is that you feel these tight, rigid muscles. And what I'm always trying to do when I am in this first part of the massage where I'm massaging their back, and you can see that picture that I've got right there right now, is my elbow. So my elbow is next to the person's spine across her body. So like I'm sitting on her right side, my elbow is on the left side of her spine and I'm rolling away from the spine. And so I'm basically trying to get into the short muscles that are near the back and the paravertebral muscles that are parallel to the body on the far side of where I'm sitting. And I'm trying to move them away from the spine. And so that is a very much a common theme of how I massage the back. And when I'm addressing back pain, is that I play with angles so that I'm always moving muscles away from the center, away from the spine, outwards towards the shoulder, or if I'm in the lower back, from away from the sacrum and towards the hip more often than not. There, there are some exceptions to the rule, but as a general overview of what you want to be listening for and paying attention to, is where can I create some space? And, and it's about moving muscles away from the area of tension. So does that whet your appetite or what? Does that get you really excited about how you can give a mutually beneficial and incredible massage to address back pain? Then if you wanna learn the whole strategies and all these techniques, then please join my mailing list. Click the link that's down below in the comments as well as in the description, and I'll send it over to you right away and we can get deep together you can learn an incredible, incredible way to address back pain with your clients or with your loved ones and the people in your life, just like I've been doing for over 20 years. I can't wait to send this to you, so please click on that link below. And if you have any questions, any comments, anything that's particular to you, I'd love to hear from you as well. So leave your comments below too, and we'll be in touch real soon.